So we're jumping to the 1840s and, a and, and, and this thing called French bread. We're gonna find a bunch of slides. This is not, <laughs> but somehow I've gotten the, the final talk not, not safe properly. Um, this is by a lot E. Smith. It's not Eliza Smith. The Eliza was added in the 18 in the 1930s. Her name was E. Smith. She um, her first book was published, her only book in the 1720s, and it went on to become a brand. It was uh, taken over by the publisher and expanded and was in print for at least a hundred years and copied a million million times. And what I want you to get from this one, thinking back to the the Baker's math text, it says a thin light paste. She say, take half a peck of fine flour, put to it six yolks of eggs and four whites, a little salt, a pint of good ale yeast, as much new milk made a little warm as will make a thin light paste. Stir it about with your hand. Um, I've got other slides. I'm gonna get into this in more detail. Hopefully they exist that I didn't lose, lose them. Um, completely, but this is a dough you are stirring. We are getting in and we're going to see with a Hana glass recipe to an 80% hydration at least, okay? 80%. Um, this is not a stiff dough. And I know that for me, it was really eye-opening to really get into it and 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 discover that that is that is is is, is the case. Um, we've done this one before. The Henry Howard. Take one quart of flour, three eggs, a little barm, a little butter. Mix them with flour very light, with a little new milk warm. So the big challenge getting into one of to a recipe like this is he doesn't specify the amount of liquid. So who could walk us through how to convert this to baker's mouth? Anyone want to help? Okay, take one quart of flour. How much does that weigh? It weighs one pound, 450 grams. Eggs weigh approximately 50 grams each, 50 to 60 grams. So what you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to say I've got, so we know that we have 450 grams of flour. That is a given and it's a number. The eggs weigh 150 grams. So what's 150 into 450? Can someone tell us? Come on, wake up. Shout it out. 30%? 30%. So this is 30, this is 30% 30 egg, okay? 450 grams of flour, 150 grams of egg or 30%. Now it says a little barm, a little yeast. Um, generally, they want these to rise quickly. So taking knowledge from other sources, we could call a little, well, the barm is gonna be anywhere between 6% and 12%. Okay, so, so let's just make it a 10% barm, we'll call that a little. So, so that's gonna be 45 grams of barm. A little butter, you know, it's your choice. However, however rich or poor you feel today, but a little is certainly not making a, um, a, a brioche. So I would probably put in, what do you think? You wanna put in 30 grams? Carl, do you feel inspired? How many grams? Five, between five and 10%, yeah. Okay. Five, I would go for five. Five He's to max. Go for five. Okay, so we have a recipe here, 100% flour, 30% egg, 10% barm, and did you say 5% Carl? Indeed. And 5% butter. So five times 450 is a little over 20. If you were making a two kilo, so you've got 2000 grams, then five times 2000 would be 200 grams of butter. That's how bakers work it. 